This tutorial is for our Burgundy Beauty arrangement. It's a really stunning arrangement for autumn, but I think it's lovely all year round. I'm going to start with this beautiful burgundy leaf branch here. It's the tallest piece in the arrangement, and I've just pulled that into shape. And secondly, I'm going to take this tall eucalyptus, it's another tall piece, and just position it there. I really want, really want this height in the middle. Next, I've taken the thistle. If you're familiar with our pieces, you'll know that all of the stems are wired, which means that you can pull them into shape. And particularly with this piece, as we start to build forward in the arrangement, I want these lovely thistles on display. So I've popped one out to the side here. I'm going to put another slightly central. And what you'll see me doing is building up this from an asymmetric perspective. I really like the bouquets when they aren't quite perfect. Um, and they've got a little bit of their own shape and style about them. And I'm thinking about that now as I build these pieces in right from the beginning. So I've got these blackberries here that I'm nestling just into the stems of the, of the thistle. I think they probably look like a bilberry or something that you'd find in the hedgerows around autumn. And again, they've got this really lovely deep colour, just like this fabulous burgundy eucalyptus, which is a real bestseller um, when we get into the, the more autumnal and Christmassy times of year. Um, again, I think this deep colour is, is really popular. This is the lamb's leaf. Um, in, it's in so many of our arrangements, you've probably seen that. And I love the way this silver colour offsets the burgundy and then we've got the texture of the thistles. And for me, this arrangement really starts coming together when we add all these different pieces in. This is our black eucalyptus with seeds. And I'm going to start popping this right down the side here because I want to give this some shape and size. Um, if I look across the pieces that I've got next, I think the next one I want to do is this last of the thistles, which I'm going to pop here, and then I'm going to add in my second eucalyptus. So I'm really just alternating a lot of these pieces through and paying attention to the shape that it's giving me as I do so. I just want that to come a little bit forward there because I have got another of these lovely black eucalyptuses that I'm going to pop just in the side here. As I start to fill in the last few pieces, I'm just looking to see where I want these blackberries to go. I think for me, they're going to go right into the centre here, start to fall forward a little bit. And then this silver one, I want it to go with a little bit of height and pull it forward there. And you start to see that we've got a little bit of this asymmetric shape coming through. Now I've got three hero pieces to insert into this bouquet. This is our burgundy English rose. It's incredibly popular uh, and incredibly realistic. And then we've got the burgundy dahlia, which is actually towards the lower end of the price range of all the pieces that we offer. Um, but it's got a lovely little pop of colour. So I'm just going to face this to me for one second so I can see where I really want to make these pieces go. Um, and then I can make them stand out. So I think with... This lovely burgundy dahlia, it's got some height. I'm going to pop one of them right into the centre here so it stands out. I'm going to have my second burgundy dahlia a little bit off to the side. I'm just going to tweak the head because I want it to hang out slightly just like the foliage is doing. And then this beautiful rose, I'm going to pop into the centre here. Um, so it's on display and everyone can really see how gorgeous it is. So if I just turn that round to you there, Hopefully you can see where I've positioned all of the different pieces. Um, this is a forward-facing bouquet, um, so it's perfect to go against the, the wall, uh, on your console table, and I really hope you've enjoyed this arrangement.